Hey there everyone, how are you? It is Lori and I'm here to do a sneak peek at your week. Let's see what's going to go on and who might be influencing your life over the next few days. You have rolled Leo, Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, and Gemini. Interesting energies there. I feel like there's passion and somebody trying to hold, anchor you down. Not hold you back, anchor you down. Because you're excited, you're ready to go. You've got some dreams that you're focusing on there. So two air energies, two fire energies, and two earth energies. Very balanced, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening here over your next week okay this will be the whole week i'm going to do it day by day see what each day holds in store for you and at the end we will get you some advice from spirit okay there's always advice from spirit throughout the whole reading so let's go ahead and start with one card for each day of the week and since we are starting this this will be for sunday monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, and I'm sure those are going downhill because I'm sitting a little sideways here. <laughs> I'll see if I can straighten them up a little bit for you. All right, let's see if that helped. Okay, we will clarify with different decks. Sunday. The Two of Cups, beautiful. You're spending time with loved ones or communing with your higher power. Sunday is a great day to be in church, to take time to meditate, to align yourself. And that's exactly what's happening here. Two of Cups, beautiful energy here. You're feeling whole. You feel good. This is Cancer energy here. Very nice. Venus energy here, love. And I'm hearing love in all forms, not just romantic, all forms. Sunday it looks like a beautiful day. Shall we clarify as we go along? Yeah, let's do it that way. All right, so Sunday. What else can you tell us here, Spirit? What else would you like to tell us about Sunday in this Two of Cups energy for our lovely, lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, and Channel fans? King of Wands. Yeah, excited. Excitement here. But look, you're rooted in your... It, this is excitement around family. That you're rooted in this tree as the king of wands okay you're not separate this is your tree of life your family your history your future everything is all tied up here right now that's what you are focusing on your happiness your relationships you are passionate about the people that you love and care for that is beautiful all right let's go ahead and see what monday has in store for you Sleepless nights. What's happening here? The Nine of Swords. You know, I'm hearing that you're worried that this beautiful feeling that you have with your family, your friends, your community is not going to last forever. I can tell you, it probably is not going to last the same way forever. It's got to change. Life changes day to day. Let's go ahead and see what we can find out, though, using the um, clarification cards here. All right, um, I'm hearing that it is a sudden change that's got you a little bit nervous. Something changed very, very quickly here. Oh my goodness. Spirit, what more can you tell our viewers about this Nine of Swords energy? Why are they so afraid of something here? What are they afraid of? Yeah, see, you're, you're afraid of the future. You're worried that things are not going to remain the same, that things are going to change drastically. All right, let's see what's going on here. Why? Why do the viewers feel this way, Spirit? I keep seeing the Seven of Wands. It hasn't come out yet. Somebody has challenged your boundaries, pushed, tested you, confronted you about something. Let's see, why are the our viewers, our lovely Libras here, 
What is causing this? Why do they feel like the future is just going to be so different? Some sort of secrets. You don't have you don't know something. You feel like something's being kept from you. That's what's keeping you awake. You feel like somebody's keeping a secret. Can we find out who might be keeping this secret? Can we get some more information about this? A little clarification about who is keeping this. Oh, boy. I was wondering if a court card was going to show out. Um, that's the Empress energy there. Okay, so this could be your mother, a mother figure. Now, I'm going to say this, and this is probably going to tick off a couple of people. It's not meant to be offensive. It's just reality. Leos consider themselves to be mothers of everybody, okay? of They just consider, they're that protective, okay? So you could ha be dealing with a Leo, and since you do have Leo on here, Take that as it resonates, okay? Do you have a child who's a Leo? Do you have a sister who's a Leo? It does not necessarily have to be a mother. It can also be a um, male figure who is in the yang energy, okay? A divine feminine energy, uh, but yang, okay? Don't, don't take that the wrong way. Um, but this is somebody... That could be like the mother of your children. This is a mother figure. Okay, somebody of great importance in your life. Somebody who you feel like has authority over you in some way. Okay, and, and the only person who should have authority over you is, is your mother, your father. And they don't really have authority. It's kind of a respect thing that I'm feeling here. Okay. So you feel, Libras, as if somebody who has is a mother figure or a very loving, caring, um, giving person in your life, a very protective person in your life, is keeping some sort of secret from you. And that is why you are worried about the future. Look at this. The Hierophant. Well, this turns out good. That, that turns out good. So whatever you were thinking... Whatever you're worried about here, it does not look like you need to worry about it because you've got the Hierophant and the Nine of Cups. You're seeing things from a different perspective here with the Hanged Man. Yeah, you've got a new focus. So this is fine. This is not something that you have to worry about. Put those fears away. Get yourself a good night's sleep. Okay, don't let Monday bug you. All right, let's go ahead and see what Tuesday has in store for you. Two of Swords. You still don't feel like you have all the answers, even though the truth has been given to you. You're denying some sort of truth. Somebody, this figure here, could have come to you and said, hey, this is so-and-so. And you're like, nope, nope, that ain't right. Nope, that's not true. Okay. It could be somebody else entirely. This could be somebody at work, a friend, uh, another relative, somebody unrelated to this that tells you something, and you're like, no, I just don't believe that, even though the, the truth is out there. This is your energy, too. But you're in denial here, and normally I see the two of swords as trusting the universe, but no, you're in denial. You are not accepting some sort of truth here. And that's not a judgment. That's just life, okay? And again, we've got the moon energy here, and you just feel like... You don't have all the answers about the situation. Like I said, the truth has been spoken, not once, but twice, okay? So, yeah. Let's clarify this. Let's see what more we can find out about this Two of Swords energy. What is it that you are, the viewer, is denying here? Look at that, the Two of Swords. and the I got the whole deck upside down. See this? Okay, so I am going to take both of these cards in the upright. Two of Swords, clarifying the Two of Swords. And both times the swords are facing down. They're not facing up. Okay? And it is about a Queen of Wands. So we have a mother figure here, a fire sign possibly. A Leo came through very strongly, a protector. 
Um, Aries, Leo, or Sag energy again with this Queen of Wands. You just don't want to admit this truth about this person. All right, so let's see what else we can find out. Will this be resolved? How will this be resolved, Spirit? Five of Swords. Oh, you're going to fight this to the end. You just do not want to admit this. You do not want to believe that this is true about this person. If it's not about a person and it's about a situation, take it as it resonates, okay? Or leave it completely. You may not have a situation like this at all happening for you. This could be about yourself, too. If you happen to have um, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius in your um, birth chart, like your rising sign, your moon sign, especially your moon sign, Libra, that may be really important. You may be denying this about yourself, Okay, and you may not even be consciously aware that you're doing this. Look at this. Five of swords and five of cups. Spirit saying you will regret this if you do not move past this. You've got to find a way to move past this strategy. Seven of swords is on the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, what just came out? Chariot. You get to decide how you want to deal with this. Are you going to move forward or are you going to stay stuck? It's your determination that moves that chariot. All right. Anything else here? Nine of Wands. I'm, I just heard it. I'm going to say it the way Spirit said it to me. Quit playing the victim. Okay? The truth is the truth. Admit the truth and move on. Then there can be balance restored here. And there can be healing and hope for the future. But right now, with the way things are, that's not going to happen. Let's see what's going on on Wednesday. The moon card. Isn't it funny that you've had the moon, the moon, and now the moon is here. There is something about this week that fantasy. You've got Pisces energy here. You've got Pisces on here. I was talking about something about fantasy when I first rolled the die. You've got somebody who's trying to anchor you. Not, not deny you anything, but anchor you. And it could be because you're in this energy of just fighting this truth. Somebody may feel that about you. All right, let's go ahead and uh, clarify this. I'm out of the teeny tiny deck, so we're going to have to move on. Let's see what we can learn about this here. I don't know what that symbol is. Isn't that funny? I've studied all the symbols and I don't recognize that. At all. It looks like a P, but I don't know. I don't think it's Capricorn at all. No. Nope. All right, let's go ahead and see what's hidden here. What What is it? You're facing yourself here, okay? So I, I do feel like you are going to face this truth, that you do change directions, that you set the uh, anything in your head that you was holding you back, you're setting it free. Those bats are flying out of the belfry, okay? They're leaving. There's waterfalls here, so that's healing. All right, Spirit, can you please clarify this moon card energy here for Wednesday for our lovely Libras? The truth comes out. You do admit the truth. You accept the truth. You hear the truth. It elevates you. Now, your crown is actually acting as a hilt here, as a stop guard, a place for you to find stability, security, confidence, courage. It's a place for things to just end, okay? It protects you at this point. That's what your the hilt of the sword is for, to protect your fingers so you can hold on to it, on to the sword of truth. So you do receive the truth here. Oh, look at this. And you get yourself back into alignment with the lover's card. You put your burdens down. You're successful. And look at this, the moon card. That tells me this comes full circle, okay? So the truth that you heard and wanted to deny is spoken yet again. This time, you're protected from the pain of this. You see the truth of it. You're getting yourself in alignment. You feel divinely protected here, okay? You are able to put that hurt from that truth behind you. Ten of Swords. 
Here you are with a six of wands, victory, success, overcoming a challenge, okay? And there's the moon card saying everything is fine. Your emotions are still a little raw with this, I'm hearing, but you're okay. You're good. You see the elevation. You see the success. You, I'm hearing the success is you accepting the truth here, Libras. Let's move on to Thursday. Tree of life. Okay, you're feeling whole and complete again, just like you were on Sunday. Everything has come back together. You're not fearing anything. Everything feels in alignment. Everything, Everybody's connected to everybody, and everything feels beautiful. All right, we're going to go ahead and get a clarification here and see if there's anything else you need to know about this. Spirit, what would you like to clarify about the tree of life? Is there any other information you would like to give our lovely Libras? That was the tower card. I also saw the star card, but the spirit says not yet, not like that. Let's clarify this, please. The tree of life. There it is, the emperor. In control of yourself, your emotions, your world is right. Okay, this this walrus emperor is not fighting anything, is not, is fine even in any element that he finds himself. Look, there's mountains back here. The sun is blazing. I don't even see water. And emperor, or emperors, walruses live in the water. Okay, so this emperor may be out of their element. You may be out of your element in some sort of situation, but you're in control of yourself. You're in control of your emotions. This is you. This is your kingdom. This is your world. You are fine. You have people who can advise you. Okay, long teeth. Most people don't know this. Um, Maybe you do. I just said most people. Um, to be long in the tooth means wisdom. You've had a lot of experience, okay? And you've got two very long teeth right there. So there's a lot of wisdom that was learned by this walrus king here. And again, his sword, his um, ankh, his wand, whatever you want to call this, is pointing down. The shaft of it is pointing down, which means it's a truth that has been accepted. And you are just in complete control, standing in your wisdom, your knowledge. And walruses are fierce, by the way. They will, if they anyone comes at their children, oh my gosh, they will fight to the death to protect their children. All right, so now there may be that Leo energy. I'm, I'm getting Leo might be in some of your charts, okay? It, Leo could be your rising sign, your um, moon sign. Cancer I got for most of you for the moon sign, but it could be Leo. All right, anything else here for Thursday that we need to know that our lovely Libras need to hear? Okay, it came out kind of in the reverse, but what I'm hearing is, is Seven of Swords, plan, strategize. If you can accept the truth, tender the truth is what I'm hearing. Then you have Six Swords, which says that you will um, be able to move forward, heal, let go of whatever um, whatever's happening around you. Emperors have to strategize and plan, and that's what I'm hearing here. So planning something, planning something is going to take you into new territory. It may be unknown territory, but everything points towards it being true, good, and right for you. All right. Let's see what Friday has in store for you. The Palace of Wands. This is like having everything here again. Okay, this is your home. This is your ultimate home. Your everything home. The home that you share with other people. The home that you share with your God. With your higher power. With your higher self. This is your ultimate living space. Your mental health. Your heart space. With the Palace of Wands. So that tells me you're doing well. You are feeling good. You are feeling right. 
Let's see what we've got for clarification here. What more would you like to tell our Libras about Friday? So you may have, you know, a little, I mean, this may have sounded horrible, but it's not really. It's just a little bit of mind games that goes on. Everybody has those moments. So your week actually looks like it's going to be starting off really well and ending really well with the typical Monday blues here. <laughs> All right. Um, but it gets better because you become more determined. You know, you're going to face the facts. You're going to accept this person or this situation for what it is. It is what it is. Okay, you can't change it. You can only change going forward. Okay. And releasing is the best way to embrace the change. All right, let's see what Spirit has in store for you with this uh, Palace of Wands. What more can you tell us here, Spirit? What would you like our lovely Libras to know about this? I was going to say Page of Wands, Page of Cups. Think outside the box. Be creative. Use your imagination. I told you this Palace of Wands is your home, your heart space, your head space, okay, your imagination. Use it. Listen to the synchronicity. Spirit is trying to get you passionate about something or someone. You've got the two of cups coming out of the cold. So the, I mean, this is the way it came out. You're unhappy about something. You're very unhappy, very, um, you've had some unhappiness. By Friday, you are in a good spot again. Here's those arrows of love coming towards you. Sun, everything's out in the open. You can release any past negative energies. Another card of strategizing and planning. There's the star card for healing. Yeah, you're definitely moving in the right direction here. Let's see what Saturday has in store for you. <laughs> One be a Libra reading without a tower. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm feeling like this is Mars. If I'm incorrect, somebody let me know. It could be Mercury, but I think this is Mars or the Divine Masculine, maybe. I don't know why I cannot get my head around that right now. Let me... uh. See if I can find it real quick. So weird that I cannot come up with those two symbols. All right, that is Mars energy. This is Mars energy. I knew it was, I thought it was Mars. But what is this? I have no clue what that is. I really have no clue. Mercury's got the horns. That's right. Okay. Wonder if that's something for, does that look like Chiron? I don't think so. I don't have anything here. In all my studies, I, I made myself some flashcards to learn this. I don't have anything that looks like that other than possibly Chiron or Pluto maybe because they change and have interactive. And I don't know what this symbol is here either. All right, if you know, drop it in the comments. What is your tower moment? Mars energy. Something coming at you out of anger out of a quick, um, like a protective mode. Let's find a deck of cards to use to clarify. Hmm. No? Okay. Let us see. Spirit, what would you like to tell our lovely Libras about this tower moment? I mean, come on. A, a Libra reading without a tower these days is weird. Something out of the past triggers you you want to protect your children i'm hearing okay and i just heard you want to protect your investment children are an investment for the future so for some of you you are wanting to protect your children um somebody triggers you and makes you feel like you have to protect your um children again i'm feeling that 
Leo energy of just needing to step in there and protect. All right, let's see what else we can find out here about this tower moment. Spirit, what else would you like to tell our Libras about this spirit moment? Or spirit moment, about this tower moment? Hermit, look deep inside of yourself. You know the truth. You know the truth. You have the answers, okay? Just dig inside yourself. Find that divinity. Oh, the star is the divinity in each of us. Find your divinity so that you can find your grace and you can show grace and compassion to somebody else. That is going to be the best way for you to heal from this, for everybody to heal from whatever the situation here is. Um, oh, look, the moon for how many times? One, two, three. Now this is the fourth time with a tower moment behind it. Here's the Queen of Wands again. Oh, no, that was a, yeah, the Queen of Wands is here. There's the Ace of Swords again. Yeah, at some point down the road, if you can find the grace within yourself, if you can find the divinity within yourself and you say to this situation that's happening here that you're going to look at it from a place of compassion, kindness, love, grace, humility, instead of, oh boy, um, I don't even want to use that terminology here because I know it will, sh sh YouTube would shut me down, um, really wanting to be over the top aggressive in this behavior. You, that's not normally you, but you're in a protective mode. Whatever it is you want to protect, it could be your children, it could be some sort of investment. Something is going to trigger you into a, an angry stance. But if you can step back, look at this, and find the divinity in the situation in yourself, even if you can't find it in the situation, OK, so if this is more about money versus children and you cannot find divinity, like there's no person for you to look at that person and say, OK, I forgive them. I let this go. They're human. They didn't do this intentionally, whatever it is. If you don't have that opportunity, dig deep inside yourself and do that for yourself. It is a situation. You will get through this situation. You will be fine. OK. Don't do something rash is what I'm hearing here. Do not do something rash because if you do, it's going to cost you in the long run. I mean, it will not be good for you. All right, so let's get you some cards of advice from Spirit. Okay, let's do that with the Holy Grail. It seems like everyone could use a little Holy Grail. <laughs> Hail Mary energy right now. All right, let's see what advice is going to come from Spirit. we got one card here already. Three of Pentacles. Everything will work out if you can work with others. Collaborate. Show that grace, that divinity, okay? And just say, you know what? I see it. We all see it. We're all coming from the same place, a place of being human and things not always working out right. We can... Cause it to work right is what Spirit's saying. You can cause things to go the way that they should. There it is. Fresh start. Fresh fresh perspective. Growth and potential. Spirit, spiritual manifestation. Spirituality is about your divinity. Okay? Your compassion. Your ability to forgive yourself and others. Transforming that situation. This is Four of Pentacles. Stability, reliability, holding back, containing that um, anger, okay? Yes, you have a right to be angry. That's not being denied. Always honor any emotion feeling that you are having. It does not mean to escalate that energy or to take action on that energy. It means to sit in the energy and find out why you feel the way you do. OK, once you understand why you feel so angry and so protective, then you can take a step back and find that path that's right for you. The one that will lead to healing and hope for the future, not the one that's going to end up with you in jail. OK, 
Because I do feel like that's how triggering this could be for some of you. Find the stability here. Transform that energy. Okay. Anything else here, Spirit, that you would like to say about this this week for our lovely Libras? Man, was not expecting this type of reading today. Nine of Wands. Yeah, Spirit saying, don't give up. Okay. Don't give up on yourself, your future, or anything else. Um, it's about enduring. And counting on yourself to be able to handle any situation that you are faced with. You can do this. All right. Let's go ahead and see. And the Queen of Wands is, oh my gosh. The Nine of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Tower. So it could be this person that you did not want to believe this information about is what is causing this tower. Okay. It could, I am getting strongly for some of you that, especially when it comes to children, baby mama, okay, or guardian. It could be a grandparent. It could be an aunt or uncle that takes care of your children, you know, like it shares custody with you or something like that. That's what's causing the issue over here, okay? Queen of Wands shows up here, here, and now here with the tower in two places, so... Take that as it resonates. If you don't have a Queen of Wands in your life, don't worry about it. What does Spirit want to tell you? What does your soul want you to know here? Whew. That's pretty intense. Radiance. You are a radiant reflection of God's light. That's finding your divinity, okay? Being a, a person of compassion, of healing energy, of forgiving, not, not lashing out, but coming at people with grace, humility. Oh my gosh, look at that. Grace popped out right as I said. Coming at people with grace. You graciously accept the infinite love of the universe, but it's about you being grace, showing it to other people. Spirit wants to give you an enchanted map, but we're going to check the radiance for you. The meaning of this card is your radiance acts as a beacon pulling the bounty of the universe to you. Your heart is open, your spirit is glowing, and your connection to the source is strong. That's confirmation right here on the end of this. What your soul wants you to know is that when you live in a state of radiance, you do not need to struggle in order to make things happen. You can be the emperor, cool, calm, collected. You shine so brightly that opportunities are drawn to you. Even if you're feeling dull and lethargic or controlled or manipulated, you can transform your state of being and your state of mind by acting as if you are feeling expansive, content, and luminous. This might sound like you're pretending, but in fact, yeah, isn't that what using our imagination is for? When you act as if, though, this sends a powerful message to your subconscious mind, your imagination, to uplift you, your emotional state, to change how you are feeling. Also, doing things such as taking a, a walk, putting on clean clothes, taking a shower, or listening to some sort of soothing music, or reading a book, anything, okay, while acting as if. You are a radiant reflection of God's light can actually catapult you into a joyous state of radiance. It will actually help you find, easily find that grace and that divinity within yourself and the situation or another person. Let's see what the grace card says for you. I can't, I mean, I can believe that it came out just as I was saying the word grace. There's confirmation right there for you. The meaning of this card is to be gracious and understanding with yourself and others. Your angels, your guides, and your spiritual guardians are watching over you and cherishing you. Kindly do the honor of 
realizing and accepting the reality of other people. You cannot even make that up. Accept the reality of other people. Kindly honor the reality of others. This person is what reality is telling you they are. You need to please kindly honor that truth. What your soul wants you to know is there's a spiritual nobility that accompanies true grace. Even if you absolutely know that your opinion is right, that you are in the right, that nobody has the right to do this to you, sometimes it's just not wise to push your point. Oh, this is talking about that tower coming at you. The creator, okay, it's better to let it drop. It's not going to benefit you or anyone else to react in anger, okay? It's just going to cause sleepless nights, fear for the future. The creator knows the truth of the situation, even if other people don't. What other people know does not matter. You only have to face yourself and the creator, okay? There are times when you should be starkly honest, blunt, upfront, and tell people exactly as it is, but this is not one of those times. Listen to what this person may be telling you without you putting your own opinion on what they're saying, okay? Listen with love in your heart and try to hear what it is that they are saying. If they are doing something that is triggering you, it means that they are coming from a place of fear, the nine of swords here, okay? Anxiety, fear, and they're having nightmares of their own. And they don't know how to deal with those emotions, so they're going to put it on you, okay? I know it sounds strange, but that's exactly what human beings do. Hurt people. People who are hurting tend to hurt other people. Not always intentionally either. This feels intentional. It does feel like this person's trying to trigger you for whatever reason, okay? They are trying to do something to upset you. Proved, oh, it could be they want to take you to court and you lose custody of your child. Whatever the situation is, do not lose your cool. Speak your speak with love, kindness. Ugh. Speak with love, kindness, and diplomacy. Okay, be kind to yourself. Cherish your path that you're on, no matter how difficult that path may be. And also look for the divine and the grace in others. Show that grace to others, okay? So many times we just respond or react. We don't respond. We don't think about why the other person's doing what they're doing. And that just escalates everything. That's what the chaotic drama is. Drama is good in our lives to a certain degree, but not that type of drama. That's negative, okay? You don't want that. All right, let's get you an enchanted map. Oracle message here. So Spirit's advice for you is to really hold back your anger, um, figure out why you feel this way. But maybe if you look at it from the other person's perspective, you'll be able to see that they are feeling the way they are for the wrong reasons, okay? And if you can just tell yourself, you know what, they're wrong and God will take care of that, karma will take care of that, I'm not going to lose my cool to where I may lose my children, I may lose my investment, I may lose something in the future because of how I reacted negatively right now. Look at that. Dragon's Lair. You are definitely entering too dangerous territory. Oh my gosh. And 34. Spark. You guys keep getting this. Okay. And what I'm hearing this time with this spark is that you've come up with a beautiful creative thing it comes to you out of the blue as you are seeking this grace and divinity let's see what this says for you we're actually starting with spark you are a clear channel for divine creativity 
Sometimes, okay, there is a spark of creativity in you and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself up to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating it. Open yourself up to the divinity, the grace, the compassion. This is the perfect time to give birth to an idea, a new idea. Start a relationship from a different perspective or even start a new job, okay? There is high attraction as you connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences, happiness, healing, bright hopes for the future, okay? Watching a spark turn to a flame and then stoking that fire is a very gratifying activity. It satisfies you, it satisfies spirit, it satisfies everyone around you. Turn the tables on that situation. Let's see what we have here. Dragon's Lair. You are always protected and always, listen, divinely directed. So you are giving, you are being given the solution if you open yourself to it. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are not in alignment. You are about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on right now is one that will challenge you to your very core. That said, peril is always exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you will be changed forever. Okay, and you know this, you're going to feel your life could go in a completely different direction based on how you respond. A life lived fully is not lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you. And that's what they're talking about, not living in safety. Trying something different that has not been done in this relationship before. New territory. A new experience, a new thought process is calling to you. One that will test your courage. The choice is always yours, but there is a greater value in risk taking than remaining unchallenged, okay? Just turning your back on this may not be the way to go. You have to find a different solution is what I'm hearing. <sighs> new territories are waiting for you to discover them. So find that divinity, that grace, that humility, um, and a desire to heal this relationship, to move forward where it benefits everybody. All right. What else, Spirit? Anything else here? No, nope, that's it. Spirit says that's good. You guys have all the information you need for the... No, no, no. Okay, we're going to roll the letter die. Places, people, things. This is extra information. Confirmation for some, but it may be extra information that you need. Okay? Barbara. Boho. Banjo. Oh. Crickets. Crickets. I don't know. Like, I'm hearing the sound of silence. Um, New Haven. Billy. Bailey. Becca. British Columbia. Aaron. A-A-R-O-N. Bona, B-O-N-A, Bana, maybe. Chong, C-H-O-N-G. Missouri, Melody, oh, Melody, sorry, Melody. Tucker, D-T. Dr. Deary, Dressery, Dressery, 
I, I don't know. Samantha, Samuel, Semester, Sylvester, Richard, Rita, Remy, Rosie, Referee, Leopard, Lemons, Lieutenant, McKinley, Mackenzie, Daiquiri, Wisconsin, West Virginia, New Hope, New Hope, Honolulu, Hula Hoop, TJ, KJ, Katie, Calamity, DB, William, Warren, Wren, Snow, Snow and Sneed, <laughs> Snow and Sneed, two different words, okay? Velma, Candy, as a, a name, Candice, Chi Chi, Jacoby, JJ, James, Jaden, Gabby, Gacy, Dome, D O M E, Chomp, Chug, Gula, Jackie, Jack, Mac, Aaron, E R I N, Effie, Daphne, DJ. Tennessee, Juno, Coverage, Kentucky, Connecticut, Late, Zulu, Zumi, Tumac, Texas. Texas came out on that. <clears throat> go, 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 be. Gong. Fong. F O N G. Hang. Hayden. Hogan. Chobani. Dixon. Fish. Ficus. Finn, Hod, Cobra, Kogan, all right, that's it, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, if you did, please tickle tap boop or zap the like button, Claim this in the comments if it resonated or if you see anything in your future that could pertain to this or come back next week and drop a comment on this. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel and this resonated in any way or you just enjoyed the message, I hope that you'll come back in the future. Maybe you can subscribe to the channel. We have an awesome community on this channel and we would love to have you join us. Um... Make sure that if you do subscribe and you want to know when all three of your daily messages come out, 
that you click on that little bell icon, okay? You can choose all messages or whatever. I forget what the other one is. Um, anyways, you can also go and check out my other channel, which is for all zodiac signs. It's called Elemental Tarot. Oh, um, Darren Skidmore, you asked me what the other channel was. I don't, I can't. <laughs> The message got, or the, your comment got deleted. I don't even know how. I was responding to it, and then it just disappeared. This is my one channel that you guys are on, Libra's here. And then this Elemental Tarot is the one for all signs, okay? So Darren Skidmore, I do apologize for not you, getting your answer to you, but there you go. You got a shout-out on the channel, okay? All right, keep an eye on the community tab. I've got a special coming up here for you guys, a special thing going on. A couple of things. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers to this channel. Did you know that? We are almost to 20,000. When we hit 20,000, I will be doing a Q&A question and answer session. I will go live to do that if you supply me questions ahead of time. Drop me a question. Put Q&A and then drop me your question. I'll write it down and I will answer as many of those as I can on a live session when we hit 20,000 subscribers. Man, I can't believe it. And we are about to enter Libra season. So I have something special planned for you, Libras. So keep an eye on the community tab. I'm not going to announce a lot of this type of stuff on my videos because these videos are always timeless. No matter when you hear the message, there is something for you to take from the message, okay? From spirit. So I try not to make comments in my videos about stuff that is time sensitive. This time I'm making an exception because 20,000 subscribers is pretty darn impressive and you guys have gotten us there. It's not me. It's all of you. You are the people who make up those 20,000 subscribers. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys to pieces. You are awesome. And I am going to be giving back to you guys in the very near future here during Libra season. So keep that in mind. Okay. I love you guys to pieces until our energy crosses again. I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.